Hello everybody, welcome to Blood Bowl 3 Playoffs. We've got Oli Bolly Nolly uh, streaming this match. I have to rebroadcast it because there's no Cabal Vision in game. Uh, who is Nolly in game versus Eludius. Um, 2,100, well, 2.175 million orcs versus 1.95 million orcs. A lovely orc mirror. This is the second time we're watching the match because they didn't set up the time settings correctly in the first one. So we all just wasted a bit of our lives here on Twitch. But it's okay for YouTubers. There you go. Good for you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got Orcs versus Orcs. Um, Nolly's team is way, way better than Aludius's team. It's not only the, the you know, the 225 um, TV. It's also what skills they've picked. Um, Nolly has two dirty player sneaky gets and Eludius doesn't and uh, yeah so there you go um, and <laughs> this is the thing this is one of the weaknesses of this format was that it being you know it has to be a friendly because you can't run a tournament in Blood Bowl 3 and then they, they started it off wrongly <laughs> oh dear what a disaster Put the skills on Nolly. But anyway, as you can guess, there's lots of block guard mighty blow on both teams. <laughs> uh, a couple of defensive. The defensive is the key thing here. Defensive is really good in like the, these kind of high TV matches. Um, between bash on bash, you definitely want defensive on your strength 5 and strength four players if you can. Nolly actually is his team's called actually friend actual frenzy orcs and they are actually frenzy orcs. Uh, all of the big ones have frenzy. Um, so that's nice isn't it? Ludis got two bribes with his um, inducement 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 in inducement if you're American inducement if you're English <laughs> I don't know why I said inducement and this is pretty lucky for for Nolly because on the first turn of the previous game they were completely bamboozled by uh, defensive and now they know what they're doing against defensive so kind of got away with a free one there not having the uh, time bank also failed to declare a foul from the sneaky get dirty player though obviously with two it doesn't matter if you de if you fail to declare the first one <laughs> Greasy cleats. Okay. No idea who has it. The worst thing about this, the President Nuffle, is you've got no idea which side loses it. And then you've got, like, it tells you the name, and now, now you've got, like, you know, it's, just, oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Interesting putting a... Uh, Blodge Garder on the LOS instead of the Dirty Player. There you go. Survives. Hit. Didn't hit him with Tackle for whatever reason. Dice logs should be mandatory. Dice logs are mandatory. I don't know what the point of this is. Uh, <laughs> GFIing. <sighs> I've literally no idea what what Nolly's thinking here. To get it, it's not even really making a better foul. Just a pointless GFI. a stun on the foul. Gets to move afterwards. Disgusting sneaky git or penis. Nearly misses the ball there. <laughs> wow. 
Well, I hated that G. That GFI was pretty terrible, wasn't it? Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad. It's weird. El Eludius is kind of forced. I, can't, I think the two bribes here is bad. But um, he's kind of forced into just like all manzing because you can't just like, you know, play off and trade Blitz for Blitz against a team with two sneaky get DPs. Because they will just tear you to shreds. Did he just call the skull there? Just called the skull. Cheers. <laughs> Good. I'm, gl I'm glad you're happy, Tadel. <laughs> I mean, who can say if hitting a blodger without tackle um, was a good play or not? Who can say if that was quad schools or not? I mean, it'd have to be... Ooh, it's really difficult not having the, not having the dice lock on. So I'm going to make a huge foul here. No excuse not to do that first, yeah. Good. I tell you what, one thing about Nolly is they play super fast, so that's a nice thing to have. There's enough guard around here that having a strength four next to the ball isn't even bad. Well probably isn't bad. Still seems a bit excessive assisting the ball carrier, but hey. Nolly has to try to throw games. <laughs> it's kind of the USP. <laughs> Nolly, Nolly throwing games in, in the chalice. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Injury. Lesionado! Got to, got to stay packed around the ball because of <laughs> leaving the instant ball hit on. <laughs> there might be some kind of... Oh, and there's a change there. No one stood up. So, yeah, luckily knocked everybody over, so there's no... There's no chaining into anything, really. Knocked everyone over. Got a Kaz. I've got a feeling Eludius plays really slowly. But yeah, Nolly plays super fast, so that's good. Good for us <laughs> that Nolly plays super fast. Maybe not good for them. Maybe playing super fast leads to leads to lots of mistakes and uh, you know, lots of mistakes aren't good uh, when it comes to Chalice. You can get away with it in Ladder, of course. Most people who play Blood Bowl 3 are absolutely terrible. <laughs> Unbelievably bad. <laughs> yeah, not not using it is best here, because if you use it, uh, you will get mega gang fouled. I mean, still getting pretty gang fouled with guard working on fouls. Does make a big difference, doesn't it? Making this a four assist foul instead of a two assist foul. Pretty interesting how it makes the bash matchups all about fouling. Interesting or shit, depending on your point of view, but. <laughs> God really needed that buff, didn't it? You know, I think that's what was universally agreed by everyone who played Blood Bowl since 1994, was, you know. God just isn't quite good enough. <laughs> and passing was too strong, so at least 
At least those two pillars of Blood Bowl were solved in the latest rules. Nerf passing, buff guard. Everybody's happy. So bribe worked. It is, of course, correct to use the bribe instantly rather than argue the call first. Might be a surf here with actual frenzy orcs. Yeah, there's a surf, isn't there? Um, hit this guy twice, hit him twice, surf him. No one can even chain him to there anyway. Oh, well, okay, so I'm not going for the surf. It seems a shame to take frenzy orcs and not go for ludicrous surfs, but never mind. Yeah, funny enough, it, it it pretty much does have any passing. I think it's be and the thing is, right? Uh, what's he called? Uh, who's the guy who who looks a tiny bit like Eliod who streams? Um, and he was in Yogg's cast originally. and He plays Blood Bowl sometimes. Glorious. No, I won't give in and until I, I'm never victorious. Know. I never know and I will name. defend. I will defend. Joe Manji. Flip me. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Team Fantastic. Glorious. And, uh... Yeah, wow. Uh... Who is it? God, I can never remember. I always think of Cornelius Prax. I can't remember his name. And Cornelius Prax is a Blood Bowl coach who looks nothing like Elliot. And I can never remember this guy's name. But anyway, that guy was talking about Blood Bowl. And he said... Players should like level up faster, right? Like it just takes Pyrian flax. Thank you very much. I mean, yeah, that's it. You see, it's the prax. I think of prax instead of flax, and I know it. So I'm like, I know what he's really called, and it remind, but it reminds me of the wrong name. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pyrian flax. There you go. Um, and he came up with a lot of good. It was just like a random stream. Like, I didn't clip it or anything. But uh, he was talking about Blood Bowl in a random stream, and I thought he said a lot of good things because obviously he's coming at it from a uh, from a gamer who plays Blood Bowl rather than a Blood Bowler, right? So I thought he had, I thought his input was more valuable than most Blood Bowlers in a way because we're already playing this and you know kind of addicted to this, whereas he was like more objective, if you like. Um, it was a good bit of sneaky git there, by the way. And, yeah, basically what, one of his biggest things was it just takes so long to pick, to level people up. But then what they did in uh, what they did with Blood Bowl 3 was they made it easier to level up, right? Like quicker level ups and stuff. But then they thought, oh, well, we can't have... I think it was vanity passing. I thought, well, we can't have loads of vanity passing. So, so I think that is a big thing with uh, why they nerfed throwing was to stop vanity passing so yeah I don't think it's that much of a conspiracy I think they did think if it's only three three SPP for a random primary then um, then it's pretty busted having what's it called isn't it uh, vanity passing this uh, this guy looks very exposed doesn't he here Do you know what? I think Nolly would be better off if they hadn't called their team actual Frenzy Orcs because that kind of gives the game away <laughs> that you that you actually have Frenzy Orcs. Like this, these people are in a lot of danger. These Orcs on the sidelines. It is four MVP instead of five. Yeah. And it's also no longer the D3. Like, the D3 MVP was a great thing, right? It accelerated development. You could target things and you could... Like, it's, it's accelerating development is a good thing. It's actually a good thing, accelerated development. But there's a lot... It's a surprising amount of Blood Bowl people are like, Oh, well, I had to struggle so everyone else should. And it's fucking stupid. You know, it should be like more fun and more accessible and stuff and like who cares if like lizard men are maybe a little bit too powerful if you can take d3 mvps like who gives a fuck <laughs> like they're already like you know 
other things are already overpowered as fuck as well, right? So who even cares what happens to be overpowered? Something's going to be overpowered. Is this going to be a double surf? There's no stand firm here, so it's probably going to be a double surf. This was a... Oh, KO. KO saves the double surf. What the hell? Yeah, Blitz with a right... What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, is it a strength four? No, why, what the hell was that? Therefore, I don't know. Take the both down to use Juggernaut. What a nerd. <laughs> what a flipping nerd. <laughs> Literally adding clicks just to say, haha, I used the skill that I picked. <laughs> Hello Jimmy, I'm back from the state of confederate flags and gators. It's weird that I saw more confederate flags in weekend in Florida than I have in Bama my whole life. Wow, that's wi that is wild Tony, hello. I'm surprised people still have those flags to be honest, but there you go. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Is Florida that bad? <laughs> but uh, good to see you back Tony. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, sure, I'm not frenzy, I like. Don't look at the biggin skills. Could have been the name of the team, something like that. These are really good biggins, aren't they? Six skills for this biggin, look at that. Six skills on a biggin. Oh, I guess there's loads of old people, isn't it? There's loads of old people in Florida, that's what I heard. That's what I heard, that there's lots of old people in Florida, so I guess old people are... <laughs> mm. Sunburnt rednecks. Fair enough. There's also some people there that like to rob American footballers when they when they think they're with the team. So that's pretty much the only th the only thing I know about Florida, right? Is Miami Vice. <laughs> um, what's it called? Miami Will Smith, right? Will Smith song. Miami Vice and. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Florida, right, where uh, where Sean Taylor played. Well, it's not played, lived, when he got burgled. It was a bit of a retirement shelter with nice weather. No individual stayed in contact. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much all I know about Florida. So there you go. This is a bit lax from Nolly, but hey, getting to bang on men's is the most important thing. And who cares about minor details like ball security? As long as you click fast. <laughs> Click fast and roll good. That's Nolly Strats. Mmm, casino. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> well, I'm glad that's why you wouldn't. <laughs> that's not the reason you'd move, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> No, diced. Well, there you go. Nolly managing the potato with a five-man advantage gets away with it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> America's armpit. That was that was pretty poor, but got away with it. Another removal. God, this is a absolute battering, isn't it? Indeed, Tony. Indeed. The America of America. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> like Could have piled on. Oh no, because it's Steven Silver's kind of sent off. It's not a pile on. I knew I knew power drive was rubbish now, but it's really rubbish, isn't it? You're just never ever gonna use it. <laughs> Unless it's like a a death roller. Gator. Wow. I bet there's lots of crocs though. I hate crocs by the way. Holy shit. It's like the worst footwear I've ever had in my life. Lying down. Keep fouling. Foul the best player to death. Oh, this is a bit of a dicing, isn't it? Three cars, three KOs. Wow, faulty. I don't hit anything. I'm a lovely person. There you go. I don't hate Mr. Throw. He's just a terrible, he's just a terrible thing. I want to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within inch of their fucking life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You see, that's nice, isn't it? Thanks, Lord. Um, yeah, it's objectively terrible. I, like, there's no hatred in my heart for uh, orc throwers. They're just they're just a bad piece, right? In a, in a, in a board game, in a video game. There are times when I would even take them if I was forced into playing an orc team in tabletop. In fact. If I'd gone to UKTC, um, the rules favoured orcs so much that I probably would have wanted somebody on the team to have orcs. And then if you do have to have somebody on the team has to have orcs, then you probably do want to have um, an th orc thrower in tabletop, right? So there you go. There you go. And, I mean, I don't have any bad blood ball takes, or false. But that's a so the you know, jaded exterior. That's fair enough, but uh, I only have the best blood ball takes. I think I know the most about blood ball in the world, and have the best blood ball takes in the world. There you go. Just gonna throw that out there. Like that's not really a, much of a brag because when you think of there being six billion people in the world, you know only. You know, <laughs> a few hundred even know that Blood Bowl exists. <laughs> so it's not as big a brag as it would be, you know, if it was something real, but still. Positive. No, it should still work. It should still work. Probably on a cooldown from Norse. I don't like multi stab assassins because they are terrible, Lord. Not Lod, Fault Force, they are terrible. If you want to be part of Team Positive, 
then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up, stop bitching like a little baby, and try and fucking play better, eh? Hey? Hey. So we go take up the troll, put the troll on the OS for some reason. Eight billion. Yeah, I just said I just said six instead of eight. <laughs> 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 Whatever, Trevor. I'm the best wizard, Jim. I am superior. I cut that off too quick. I should have. I thought it'd be too long if I left a bit with my intelligence is massive, but I should have left it. I'm in. strong as fuck. <laughs> the best part was saying my intelligence is massive and then falling to a death. <laughs> it was pretty good. Oh, there was a riot. Didn't even notice there. In between, in between laughing at things, there was a riot. So there's a chance here for Eludius. Like I thought, this game was over, honestly, with the three cars and already having a worse team and not, you know, not choosing the best inducement uh, and playing kind of poorly to get them served. Like maybe that's a bit harsh, but like you know. You know he's got a team with bloody, uh, you know, the team's called Actual Frenzy Orcs, right? You, can, <laughs> you know that you know there's lots of frenzy there. You could have could have even set up a uh, a clever surf the turn before, but um, didn't set up a clever surf. You know, it was, say clever, it wasn't it was stupid to not do it, but it was it was a pretty advanced surf that could have been done. Um, but now um, it wasn't done. So, but you know, as even the crabs then, I gave my flat. It's hard, like that's what I'm saying. It's, it's hard to play against this ever team. Get, okay. It is hard to play against this team because of like all the frenzy, but still could have done better than that, right? You can't just give them the easy serves. You gotta. Uh, Von Hilda! Von Hilda! I am stuck under the bench! You gotta make them work for the hard serves. I don't like that because you could already have three people on this guy anyway. Oh, to get the foul. I don't think it was worth the foul when you could have had three people on here. I think that's making that too too weak. But obviously get rewarded with the cards. Brilliant. Best play. Ah, fuck off! <laughs> Mr. Nice. There's nothing nasty about sh shouting, ah, oh, fuck off, is there? Like, that's not... <laughs> it wasn't to anybody, it was to the dice. There's no sage one anymore. Seen up beast was the best, yeah, but that would get me demonetized every time. Yep, Eludius is getting absolutely smashed yeah. yep. Yeah, yeah, Canup Beast was the best, but can you do? So we've got a pass to the frenzy blitzer. Fuck off! <laughs> doesn't even pick it up. What, doesn't he reroll? Did he reroll that? Dunno. Because I thought it wasn't very nice for me. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, but I thought it's not very nice, is it? Yeah, GLFC, GFLC, but then again, the problem is the C not word is, is a bad word. Maybe I'll try and bleep them. Maybe I'll bleep them here. I could try bleeping them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I could try bleeping them. That's not a bad idea. No, your bleeps were terrible, fault force. But I could do it myself, I'm sure. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up, stop bitching like a little baby, and try and fucking play better, eh?
Do you know what? I have to I have to get my all my YouTube videos manually approved now. It's very annoying. I don't know what happened. But about the last about the last thirty YouTube videos I've done, I've had to like get manually reviewed. It's very super super annoying. So no, I'm not going to have your shitty bleep job in for me. Thanks very much. <laughs> I could bleep all of my sound effects. You have to have all this. Because it's res, right? If it wasn't res, you wouldn't apple it, but it's res, so... You know, who cares if somebody dies, you're trying to win this one. Or maybe 2-0. But, you know, going for the stop, at least. And defense. Get three stand firms on the ball, lovely. And everyone else piled in. This guy could have probably come around here, would have been better. Wow, Nolly plays super fast. I mean, that does explain why they make so many mistakes. <laughs> they're, they're not good enough to play this fast, basically. Play way too fast. Funny in it how J5 doesn't like people who take a long time to play, but you absolutely do not want to play this fast. This is bad on. Stand firm is great here, isn't it? Flip me. Three stand firms on the ball. There's very little stand firm on Eludius's team. For fuck's sake, Tony! Maybe, maybe even Stop not. being shit! I think there's zero stand firm versus like tons of stand firm. Like five stand firm? Really nice. Could have been another stand firm. Maybe this was random, this power drive was random. I just realised these two power drivers were probably random uh, before the end of the before the start of the tournament. And the other balls come out, but the the defensive is defensive's there. Which is good. Yeah, I guess this is a good one to watch for people who uh, who aren't as good as they think they are. <laughs> you could you could benefit from taking a little bit more time to think your moves through. It's not a race. You don't have to make a million clicks a second. It's not. It's not. You know. Dota, or, uh, or what's the other one? League of Legends. It can take a little bit of time to make the best move. Think a tiny bit. Not only really must just not think at all. Explains a lot of things. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> But you know, there's been multiple chokes, right, from from Nolly in playoffs and stuff, and it makes sense. It makes sense if you know, like, thrown so many playoff games, and it always seemed really weird watching the replays. Like, wow, how could you throw from here? Well, it makes sense if you're just clicking this insanely fastly, and you're not, you know, you're not thinking. Stab. We can't just hit. Can't just block on the second one. There's like there's no no. Or is it stay where you are? Is that not stabbing? Do nothing. Oh yeah, it was do nothing. That's so weird. This game is weird, isn't it? Frenzy trap. Thought that through. 
instant hit. Hmm. Yeah, Eludius has just lost too much though, hasn't he? Like, there's no coming back from Eludius here, really. Just doesn't have the players. Looks an almost certain 2 0 loss. I don't really know what the route to victory for Eludius was. <laughs> like, maybe he was correct to take the two bribes and just try to foul to death because, like, the wizard's not particularly good. And, like, what tools do you have to, like, win the game? Nothing, really. It's the problem with bash, isn't it? Bash versus heavier bash. You're just in for a bad time. This is a really bad time. <laughs> Yes, assist there versus a defensive player. <laughs> well, not hitting the ball. Interesting. Wow, that's really weird to ignore the ball <laughs> to get a foul in. I think so, Russell Storm, yep. Oh, is this a is this a bug? Is it bugged out? Just end the turn. <laughs> end the turn because it's bugged out. <laughs> and just let him get down the pitch. And like, okay, you know, you'll probably get him here with a 3D. But you could have just 2D'd him last turn with Frenzy. So you could have 4D'd him last turn. And now all you've got is, okay, you just, just hope he rolls a double one and falls over. Fantastic. Brilliant strats from Nolly. Too good at Blood Bowl. Now, see, if I could completely ignore the ball and just have them give the ball to me, I'd do it too, I guess. Silly me. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing Pogba. Yeah. I mean, this is top tier blood ball, isn't it? Three players left on the opposing team. Sneaky git, dirty player, tearing his team to shreds. Um, the guy with two bribes is the only one to get somebody sent off. <laughs> Another one gone. Just end the turn because it's over. You can try and pitch clear for fun, I guess. There's no point in scoring, it's a uh, res. It's res, yeah. Correct! <laughs> so it would have been 2 0 if it, if it hadn't been res. <laughs> Just going for the uh, pitch clear. Completely irrelevantly, but fair enough, isn't it? It's a bit of fun. It's really bad that you they're not they can't move while the other one's moving. I always thought they could move while they were moving, right? But you you can't make them move 
while they're moving, you can just set them to move after they've finished moving, which is a bit shit. Hey, he cast himself on the uphill blitz. <laughs> well, there you go, about eight Kaz for Noi. Look a dog. Uh, but, you know, I had a much better team. I had the sneaky kit TP. And, uh, yeah, much, much better team. It's just not a lot Eludius could do. And, you know, probably didn't give himself the best chance. Did get sent, uh, did get surfed in that. But it was really hard. Like, I don't know. I don't know what Eludius' path to winning that game was, right? Just get super duper lucky. Like, insanely lucky. So, yeah, really tough matchup for Eludius. Commiserations to him. Congratulations to Nelisius, who will go through the second round. Um, as Corpax will tell you. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.